So let's talk about miking kick drums. When you're miking a kick drum, you want to follow the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds means that you need to be a third of the way in the drum, whether that's from the resonant head or the beater head. I prefer to go a third of the way from the beater head, which will be about right here. And you want to line up the element of the microphone at the third mark, not the back of the microphone. You also want to be a third of the way on your height and your width. So if you're looking at the drum, a third of the way up, whether that's up here or down here, and then from your sides, over here, over here. You may also notice that we have sandbags inside of our kick drum. The sandbags help couple the kick drum to the floor or riser. This makes the drum sound a little tighter and not resonate so much. If you have a rack tom that's mounted on the kick drum like this one is, you might want to try to mic the kick drum on the opposite side of the rack tom. This helps avoid dive in the kick drum sound because the tom is torquing the drum a little bit and therefore tweaking the head and making the kick drum tone dive a little bit, specifically on that side of the drum. When you're miking a snare drum from the top, you want to use the rule of thirds again. This time, you want to use the middle third. So you go about a third of the way in and a third of the way from the center. And you want to point the mic in between these two points. So this is the area that you should point the mic at. Now, if you're using two mics, you will aim your top mic the same way. In the bottom mic, you want it to be 90 degrees from this mic. When you're aiming your hi-hat mic, you want to be aware of the snare drum. If you have the mic pointed across the hi-hat and at the snare drum, you're going to get a lot of snare drum in your mic. So try to come away from the snare drum and position the mic so that you're going to get less snare drum. You're also going to reject the cymbal. Now make sure that your cymbals aren't going to hit the mic when they're moving. So we need to move it down a little bit. And that's a good place, so we'll lock that in. That works. When you're miking toms, you'll want to follow the same rule of thirds. So you want to mic this middle third of the drum, not too far out and not too close to the center of the drum. Another thing to watch out for is cymbals. If you get under the cymbal, you'll pick up less of the cymbal, which may not seem intuitive, but if you think about it, you have a cardioid pickup pattern, so most of your rejection is in the back of the mic. You're not going to pick up much sound there. If you were to move the mic over to the side of the drum, now the cymbal is more directly in the pickup pattern of the mic instead of if the cymbal were behind it. You'll also get sound from the cymbal bouncing off the drum head and in the mic. So your best bet is under the cymbal. Cool. With a floor tom, it's the same rule as the rack tom. You want to be aiming at this middle third of the drum, and if you can, you want to get under the cymbals. So here we're under the crash cymbal, but not the ride, because the ride is too low to get the mic under it. There are several different options when it comes to overhead mics with drums. Here we're doing an XY pattern. An XY is when the mics are 90 degrees off axis from each other. This prevents any phasing caused by mic placement. Here you have one mic pointed at this side of the kit, the other mic pointed over here. If your drummer is using inner monitors, you'll want to make sure that you pan these mics relative to his position. So this mic that's pointed to the left would need to be panned in his left ear, and the other mic panned in his right ear. Another common approach to overheads is just a spaced pair. One microphone would be over this cymbal, and the other microphone would be in this area, picking up both the crash and the ride. If you're not getting enough ride cymbal out of your overhead mics, you can individually mic the ride cymbal. To do this, the easiest thing is to place the mic under the ride cymbal like this. The most common approach is to point the mic at the bell of the cymbal. This gives you plenty of ping from the cymbal. 